so uh, I'll try and go through this one by one. Sometimes there'll be a lot to s yeah, okay, I will Rathmenix. Sometimes there'll be a lot to say, sometimes there won't. It goes through character by character, and there's two videos. So here's a pretty sh easy one. Um, you can't normally combo into medium. I can't tell if that's light or medium chop. It's like somewhere between. It's a move that doesn't exist in the actual game. Um, it back turned. Only medium and hard chop back turn. You can't combo into either of them. Um, so that was a, a chop back turning, and then he combos into super one from it. And that does like as much damage as it actually does in game, but you can't normally combo into a back turning chop, so that's kind of like neat. Um, one thing that happens a lot in this video is the super meters will be different lengths, and it's never highlighted. This is something that Alex desperately needs. He doesn't need it for that. That's completely impractical. But this is incredibly practical, and Alex like would be a lot better of a character if he could do that. That's actually I 100% approve of that change. Uh, chaining jabs. He already had chaining jabs actually. Hold on. That's uh, low strong doesn't cancel I think at all. And this is showing low strong like you can empty cancel it into like ex slash elbow and it combos even from max range, which really helps out his footsies. So that's a pretty cool change. And yeah, his stunbent headbutt is completely new. Basically, it does a follow-up combo. Like, it's a hit and then, like, like a, a, a quick move and hit and then a series of attacks. And it does good dizzy, but it doesn't do insane dizzy. It's not an instant dizzy. And then it shows off some applications for it. Like, there's a juggle into it. Alex can already do juggles like that, so a lot of people thought that was kind of crazy, but it's not. It's just, like, no one's ever ready for that kind of juggle. That kind of juggle is already possible. Aura can now cancel the second end of his tart combo. His existing tart combo is very, very fucking close to useless. So being able to cancel the second hit gives him a confirmable command grab, but it doesn't give him anything else meaningful, so it's kind of good. Kind of a nice little useful thing without get being too broken. Comboing into air throw, he can't already do that. It would be kind of cool if he could. So that's kind of a neat change, being able to combo into air throw. A forward throw. Aura, both of his throws cross up. So giving him a forward throw is kind of an awesome thing. It's like, he had it in second impact, and that's the second impact animation. They took it out in third strike. It's like, why? Give him a fucking ability to throw forward. He only has a neutral throw and a back throw. Like a Street Fighter 4 character. There's a new special move. I played around with it. It's actually um, kind of fun. You can do juggles with it and stuff. That's kind of fun, too. Both of them seem kind of useless, but they're fun to play around with. You can do combos a little easier with them. Chicken combo does not work on Twins or Hugo, and they made it work on Twins and Hugo, and there's the infinite being performed on the Twin. I don't think that one was inescapable. I mean, always you can parry out. Aura's changes I was quite pleased with. He's got other ones. Like, they removed the recovery on his stomps. There's a lot of changes that aren't shown in this video. Look at that. Look at the bar for Ganejin. Look how long it is. It's fucking huge. I like that. A lot of people thought uh, Young would be broken because of this combo. A lot of people were just like, oh, fuck this. Young can do crazy crazy damage, why would I even play this? But keep in mind that it dizzies really early on because they've got the near dizzy on and big combos are possible when it's dizzy. Something like this is already basically possible. But now you can get the follow, you can jump cancel the second hit of VX shoulder and then he did a dizzy only juggle and then uh, palm into shoulder and corners is possible. But the Ganagian bar is down there just to show you that it's huge. That's not even ridiculously better. Oh, yes. Angled uh, fireball ranges. He has that in Street Fighter 4. If you didn't know about Akuma, he doesn't have EX moves in Third Strike. So they gave him, like, they gave him a EX Tatsu that goes up, kind of like Gokin's. I don't remember if this predates Gokin or not. I think this is 2010-ish, or like, I don't know. So I guess Gokin was already out by then. And then you can juggle out of it, which is kind of cool. So they gave, basically, Akuma the full slew of uh, moves. That's his, I think he had that in in CVS2, right? They give him like a CVS2 super. And you can juggle into it, which is kind of cool. That's pretty good dizzy. All his other supers work in that context, so it's kind of cool. And then you can use it as like an anti-fireball or whatever. Oh, this is the other one. This is a really weird super. Mathematics hosting me for one viewer. Sick. Um... This is a really weird, cool super. They completely... His Super 2 and Super 3 were almost unselected, so they completely changed Super 2 and Super 3. That's weird KKZ... Uh, not KKZ, the, the CBS 2 super was his new Super 2. And his new Super th uh, 3 is like the Tatsu-styled one, except he has a jump at you, and then, then it does the Tatsu follow-up. 
So like it, it has like a new additional series, and then it's showing off. If one, it goes through fireballs. Two, you can whiff it to get in. Showing off the low overhead mix up. You have to burn an entire super bar to do that though. And then check this out. This is pretty cool. You can either cancel into it immediately and get the starting up hits, and then do the the full like animation. Or you can cancel into it late, whiff, and then get a follow up. Like with the super to stay close. I like the potential there. It seems fun. I thought all our chemist changes were all pretty cool. That, once again, this isn't all the changes in the game. It's like a shit ton. Necro has like a. They really sped up his uh, quarter circle back kick. And also, you can juggle out of it easier. You already could juggle out of it. But now it's immensely sped up. The recovery is almost non existent. And he's got a new super. Or like. It's like. His super 2 is now a hit instead of a throw. It was a two-frame throw, so it was nearly useless. But you can see the reset potential into that fast-ass animation for that overhead. It is an overhead. It already exists. They just sped it up. You can juggle into and out of it. You already could juggle into it, but now you can juggle out of it. You already could juggle out of it, actually, but like now it's useful. Um, and then you can link out of it on a crutching opponent, and then you can reset into it. And then, apparently, it super cancels, so you can get that hit super. And that does pretty good damage. That super is not useless if it's if it's a hit, if you can confirm it like that. It was useless before. They did a lot to buff useless supers, which is cool. So here's the Hugo ones. So he has his second impact chaining lights. He had like chaining lights before, but they were kind of wonky how they worked. And second impact, this is like the second impact way they worked. And then you can link out of the last one. And it's showing off the links you have. And then you can actually have a confirm combo, which Hugo basically doesn't have at all. Something like that already basically works, but it's better now that with that second impact chaining. But like you could do two jabs into super already. Uh, EX command grab is like one frame or something. It's ridiculously fast. And his EX meat squasher. Neither of those had EX moves in the original version. His EX meat squasher um, has armor. Or like he like took the damage from one hit, and then uh, grabbed her. So it's not armor. It's just like. Um, he still takes the damage, it's just he doesn't get recoiled. That one's a bit wonky. Uh, you can now combo out of Lariat, which is pretty cool. These combos might only be possible on Dizzy, I don't think so. I think you can just combo to Light Lariat. But comboing out of uh, Lariat is pretty cool. And then you can combo to Super 2, which makes it kind of more easy to land in a match. That probably doesn't do that much more damage than we just saw. Probably not a super strong combo. But that's actually pretty cool, being able to combo out of, uh, combo into and out of light, uh, Lariat. So now EX Ducking has a connect. And that makes it so you can just combo into, oh fuck, a lot happened really fast. There's the EX Ducking. It has a hit, so you can combo Stand Run House into EX Ducking into, like, Duck Straight. Uh, I don't know where there's a good charge partitioning guide, but I'll look for you in a second. You can just combo, and then ducking straight and ducking upper, I think already cancelled the super. I don't remember if that worked, or how that worked. But then EX ducking you can juggle into as well. It's expensive, and you can already do Dudley's out of the juggle, so that probably won't have a huge niche. But that, to get into the corner like that, that seemed actually really useful. And then a super 2 had a shorter bar, so, you know, not as bad. Um, so here's Remy. A cancelable low forward. Um... Some interesting stuff just happened there. You could always cancel chains in third strike. If you're thinking it's weird that you can do like chains and then um, um, the best charge partitioning guides are all in Japanese. I don't think Gutex ever did a meaningful one. No offense to Gutex. Um, but cancel below forward. Um, hold on. Light normals. Chaining light normals into an, um, this move EX uh, Cold Blue Kick. You couldn't previously combo into it, and now they made the first hit really fast, so you could combo into it from Chaining Light almost, which is pretty cool. Oh, this, his super juggles properly now, so you don't lose a ton of hits from doing it from Flash Kick. That was really stupid before. That combo didn't work before. You used to have to do the Flash Kick. It was kind of tight, but it worked. Um, or you, you, didn't, you didn't get to do the Low Strong. The low Strong would just reset. But now the flash kick starts up faster or something, so they make it so low strong into flash kick actually like juggles. Which is pretty cool. 
and then you can do that in corners as well. That probably is a Q-specific combo, actually. Or maybe not Q-specific, it's not going to work on too many characters. And then the super juggles properly. That actually already works. This one's pretty cool. See that sweep? They changed the sweep so it's only one hit, so it's kind of like Charlie sweep. And then they gave him a... That's that's off of his Kara. He has a Kara from towards medium kick. This super is a command grab super. And it looks crazy, but that's because it's card. Um, but there's a really sneaky setup to it, and then you can juggle after it. That's his counter super. They changed it to a grab. It's not a counter anymore. The counter super was useless, and a grab super is potentially useful. So, uh, far strong into super. There's nothing super notable about that combo. They increased the damage of his super. That does quite a lot. But they made the bar fucking long, and he can only hold two of them instead of three. So, same uh, same amount of EX, but way fewer supers. And super takes a lot more out of your system to use. Uh, tiny meter for super one. And it juggles properly, although it does a lot less damage. Uh, it does more damage in juggles, but it does less damage on the ground. But you can juggle into it and out of it. You needed a card DP to get that particular juggle, but it's kind of cool. And then you can hold you can hold two of his super two now. I think you could previously only hold one of them. And they changed its animation a lot. It does about the same amount of damage from what I can tell. But I think that startup hit is actually really fast. Um, so yeah. Ganejin. It's actually Say Ambu. They give 12 Say Ambu. And then he has Ganejin with whatever character he X copies. I don't remember how to distinguish between these. I think it's different button presses. I think not everything in this video is in the final game. Ganejin with certain characters are ridiculously broken, but then again you have to be really good at 12 and that character. So now you can combo into Needle and EX Needle, which you previously couldn't do. And you can combo out of EX Needle, which you could do, but not into only into very specific things. And only on specific characters. So now you can just combo into EX Needle into, into Needle. And it just works. And then you've got a little dip from your air throw. I mean your air dash. And then EX Axe does more damage, and you can combo into it. You didn't used to be able to combo into it. And then you can cancel any hit into uh, the Super Needle. Uh, chaining Normals, he didn't already have that. You've got an extra low air dash. Whoa, that juggled very interestingly. you got an extra low air dash that costs meter or some bullshit like that. Or like it actually dives. I don't remember how it works. But you can do sneaky cross-ups with it. It looks like they upped the damage of his Super 1. It was already okay. He's got a car throw. They gave him a car throw. Off of a stand medium kick. And then it's showing off a frame trap. Parry frame trap. And then this is his new Super 2. It's got a hit that launches now. It used to just be like an air super. But now you can do it on the ground and it, it works like Yoga Legend from Alpha. Let's watch the sequel. This video is about as long, covers all the characters that the first one didn't cover. Uh, so Ryu has like a weird Hadouken thing that doesn't actually shoot a Hadouken that he can cancel into. Sorry, that happened really fast. And then his new Super 3 is like a Shinkutatsu. It's weird that he had like, um, Hadouken, sure you can like Hadouken for his three supers when he didn't have a Tatsu super. So that gave him the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Shinku Tatsumaki. And you can combo out of it. So it's kind of like a really good EX Tatsu. And you can cancel it from uh, Tatsu Connect, which is really cool. You can do Tatsu into Shinku Tatsu. Like an air. Like there's an air version and a ground version. And that gives you the air version. And then in the corner you can follow up. That looks like a lot of damage, but remember it's two separate combos and it's on Akuma. And it used like two super bars. So pretty much that's like regular damage for third strike. A lot of this looks like crazy damage, but like it's either a very special scenario. This is really cool. He's got a really quick hit from his Super 2 that goes a lot farther than his existing Super 2. Like his existing Super 2 was already a 2-frame Super, I think. But now there's like a startup hit that goes really far. Like you didn't used to be able to do short jab short, short into Super 2, and now you can. And then the damage is less, but it costs a lot less meter. And you can do it from pretty far out. No follow-up, though. You can do a follow-up from the Super 2 in the old game. 
So this is kind of cool. He has two bars. Like, he had two full bars. And then if you do EX Super 1, it'll give you Dungeon. So that's how you do Dungeon. So it costs a little bit more meter to do. But whatever, Dungeon was one of the best supers in the game. And then it also, you can bring Super 1 into the battle. And you could use two Shinku Hadokens if you wanted to. There was actually almost nothing new there. He comboed out of the Towards Fierce. That's it. Towards Fierce is ridiculously... It's only plus two. No, plus three. It's only plus three. And I think. And Ryu's EXDP is um, three frames, and all his other DPs are four frames. I'm pretty sure. By Street Fighter 4 notation. So the only things you can combo off of a Towards Fierce are uh, EXDP, which is one frame unplinkable. Or actually, I guess it's plinkable. I don't know. I don't know how plinking works in Third Strike, if at all. Um, but it's, uh, one frame, and then juggling into, or comboing into Super 2 is two frames. But Super 2 is easier because you can piano it. Not only it's easier because of the piano it, but also you can, easier because it's two frames to do. But, like, Towards Fierce is pretty useless in Third Strike, so giving it, like, Street Fighter 2 style combos is pretty cool. Street Fighter 4 style combos, I guess. Man grab, left forward, this move. They completely changed the Super 1. The only hit of the Super 1, this is like, um, this is the way that, this Super, like, this is taken from New Generation, I think? I forget. I forget what this is from. Yang had that little dash punch thing in New Generation, and I think in Second Impact as well. Yang and Yun diverged more with every game. They had a bunch of shared moves right at the beginning. They were literally the same character in New Generation. And then in Second Impact, they were two separate character slots, and they had, uh, two separate, like, um... They had different special moves. They still have a couple shared special moves in their command grab and their palm and whatnot. Anyway, literally only that hit is the super. Takes that much bar to do. Um, but it only does a single hit, but you can follow up with combos. That's a corner combo. So that's optimal, probably. You say Embu. Surprise, it's Ganagian. That's actually not any more ridiculous than existing Ganagian combos, so I don't know what to say. Yurian. So they gave him a cross-up, which is awesome, because Yurian didn't have one, and cross-ups are really nice to have if you're doing cross-up unblockables. Yurian used to actually have to manually cross-up, land on the ground to get his cross-up unblockables going. They made Tyrant Punish have a kick follow-up series if you're juggling an opponent that's headbutts. So it's like punch one if you hit a grounded opponent, kick one if you hit a juggled opponent. So it's kind of like Balrog. It's kind of fun. And it's like a Balrog super, so, you know, seems appropriate. His super one was kind of lacking, so it's good that they changed it. And then this is weird. It's like they made all his combos ba baby mode. It g does give him combos in scenarios where he didn't already have combos, which is cool. Like this is a uh, full screen. You couldn't normally do this in the old game. Like, uh, without the corner. You need the corner or you need to burn some supers. But a lot of his juggles became are like... A lot of scenarios he already had juggles, the juggles still work, but like now he has new juggles he can go for that are a lot easier to do like the same damage. Oh, that's a new super. It like has a ground hit and then it brings a projectile down. It does a lot of dizzy. So that's like his new super too. It's not too different from his existing super too actually. Yeah, there's the dizzy it does. It's not that... Uh, Yurian already has combos that just instantly dizzy Remy. So this isn't actually, like, with that super. So, like, nothing is even different. That's, like, something he can already do. They just changed the way that super hits. Instead of hitting from the front, it, like, you juggle into it. This is just silly. I don't even know how to activate this in-game. In I couldn't find it. I tried, like, EX Super 2, and it wasn't working. It's literally Tengu Stones. They gave uh, Yuri and Tengu Stones. Kind of fun to play around with, though. Oh, yeah, there's a separate follow-up. And then you can do all three if you... Um, do EX, and then you can cancel the second into VX tackle, which is kind of cool. I don't remember if you could already do that. Basically, Eurian just became a character that everyone can play instead of, like, Super Masters. You know what I mean? I kind of like that. I guess. I, I kind of feel like they dumbed him down a bit, though. So, this... Everyone freaked out at this one. Everyone freaked out at Chun-Li's and Yun's ones, and they just, like, downvoted without thinking. But a lot of people didn't even play this game. A lot of people were really toxic about this hack because they were like, you can never change Third Strike. 
which I think is kind of dumb, but whatever. But look at Chun Li's super bar. First of all, she's picking um, super three, which only has two bars and it's medium length. Um, instead of ex, instead of ex projectile being a literally useless projectile, or maybe this is just a sp different special move. I'm not sure. It's now a wall bounce inducing move, and she can combo into her air throw, which is pretty cool. And then you can do a stand around house in that juggle and get the super three without even you know. That probably requires a super jump cancel. That's three separate combos and used all of her super bar. And everyone was still like, why is her damage so high? Why can't she just dizzy immediately? Like, literally every character in Third Strike can already do that. Suddenly already dizzies you in two combos. Uh, this is... I'm demoing this. Hi, hi BE1FA. Uh, this is Street Fighter 3 Fourth Strike. This is a hack of Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. I'm just explaining the shit that was changed in this video. I understand that you would be confused. Here's the Q changes. Uh, you can juggle into you can you could already juggle into the slaps like that. That already worked, but now you can juggle out of it. Like you used to, you used to get the slaps and then that would be it. But now you can do like the dash punch, which is kind of cool. And he's got EX command grab that you can combo into. He didn't already have an EX command grab. That's like new to this. Kind of cool. And you can juggle out of Roundhouse, which you didn't used to be able to do corner only. So it gives him a little bit higher damage. Um, now you can cancel your special moves into the super. Like, you used to have to cancel into it... Wait, how did it work? I think you used to have to cancel from normals. But now you can cancel from special moves, so you can do dash punch into command grab. And it's unsafe, but it does a lot of chip. And, um... You can do it, like, combos into it. There you go. He does one. And then if they parry it, you can cancel into the kick one, which is a grab. Because you can grab parrying opponents. So that's some high-level stuff that he theoretically has. Which he didn't already have before, which is kind of cool. Uh, what's happening here? Oh, they sped up Makoto's Karakusa animation. And also, now you can do uh, Fukuyagi after Karakusa, which is pretty cool. He didn't used to have like a grounded connect into Karakusa. I mean, into Fukuyage. And now you can combo into the hit of EX Fukuyage. This actually did that before Street Fighter 4 did, I think. This is This predates that. You just combo into grounded EX Fukiyage. So that's kind of cool. Makoto got some fun things to play around with. Uh, they gave Ibuki a wall jump and a can jump cancelable crouch fierce. She didn't have either of those before. I think that's all that was changed there. Uh, that's Okay, this one freaked everyone out. This one actually freaked everyone out. Watch it before anything. Yeah, it's pretty fucking scary, right? Um, this is not as broken as it seems. Alright. One. A juggle where you can reset into taunt. Ibuki's taunt is different. Now it doesn't need to connect to get the bonus. And now the bonus is high damage. Um, like it increases the damage of a follow-up combo. And then this, her super two, is a two-frame throw. So you can jump out of it in reaction to the super freeze. Which is why it's a parry into grab. This is an unavoidable setup because it's a punish. Um... It does more, it already, they increase its damage, and then it does more damage because of the taunt. So that's why it does so fucking much. A lot of people are like, why the fuck does that do so much damage? But it's, it's like, not a ridiculous amount, given the context. Um, so Ibuki can combo, she's got like a new chain. Low short, low jab, low fierce. And then she's got her second impact super back, which they removed in third strike. And you can combo into air throw, like every other character with an air throw. So that's kind of cool. You get to play around with their second impact super, which was removed from the game for being too strong. Uh, they made it so you can steer her roundhouse and fierce properly. And then it's actually invincible to throws. Like, instead of just being weird invincible to throws, it's like got full throw invincibility from beginning to end. Uh, her, her launching tar co target combo you can now cancel, which gives her a lot of new juggles. Her spin scythe you can do only once. You used to have to do it twice. Which makes it better for juggles. It lowers the damage of her juggles, but makes them more readily available. Like, you used to only be able to do juggles with, like, frame-perfect timing on some characters. Like, this is the kind of combos you could do. And these still work. Like, that combo, I think, it's easier now. I think you had to only do one of them before. But now you can do two. Yeah, and if you only do one, you can, like, get the super. Which is pretty cool. So it's like a reverse Rekka now. Those are blockable command grab. It hits low. 
So it like puts the fear of God into you with all her overheads and whatnot. Uh, she can cancel into it, and it's a low hit blockable command grab. It looks safe in this actually. I thought it was unsafe. Um, and if you gets it, it's a launch, and she can juggle out of it. It does a little bit of damage, but it doesn't do damage until they land. So if you juggle out of it, you better do more damage than it does if they just land. Like that. As a corner-only combo. Pretty cool looking. Actually, I'm not sure if that is corner-only. There's a mid-screen combo. Elena can actually already do that, but she didn't have a launcher. So you'd almost never ever see it. But repeated EX mount smashes actually already worked. It does a shit ton of dizzy. That's probably a frame-perfect combo, but that's pretty cool. Uh, blockable command grab is pretty much the same as an attack. It's basically a low that goes into an animation. The only difference is a uh, blockable command grab usually can't be parried. The only examples are Ibuki's and Oros, and neither of them are parryable. So now you have air wheel kicks and air EX wheel kicks. And the grab follow-up to tackle does a shit ton more damage in Dizzy. Which is nice because it's almost impossible to land against a halfway competent opponent. You can tech other throws with it, but it's frame perfect timing, so it's completely impractical. You can cancel into roll. You can steer ball. He can charge his Hidoken, and charging it fully makes it unblockable. I don't see a way that you can ever do that in a real match, though. But it's kind of cool. Now he's got a little follow up to his Shoryuken. I think he had that in Second Impact, didn't he? And then they like removed it, I think. But you can juggle uppercut to uppercut, which is pretty cool. And then you can juggle uppercut to Super 2, which has dramatic reduce in damage, but you can still combo out of it. Dramatic reduce in damage. This is weird. He's got like a focus attack. You can cancel into it. Oh, what the fuck is happening? There's like too much happening. That was way too fast. That showed a lot of changes very quickly. So he's got like a focus attack, and if you charge it, it turns into an unblockable. And you can also dash cancel it once it connects. Um, and then as he exits, uh, kick thing. Knocks down now. It didn't used to. Then you, he juggled out of it. That probably he doesn't have much juggle sped in that, I don't think. And then the regular Tatsu also knocks down. And you can... Um, the light one is really safe. He didn't previously have a safe one. And then the second impact link of uh, Strong into Roundhouse into Super 3, which was removed in third strike, was re-added. It looks like they removed some of the damage from th uh, Super 3, though. Oh yeah, but then he cancelled into the the focus attack move, and then he dash cancelled it before it ever released. So it's basically a focus attack. They gave Sean a focus attack. I don't know if it has armor. Uh, combo scaling in third strike is based on number of hits, rather than number of actions. And it starts activating after about 15 or so. I don't know the actual number. And then it'll scale your uh, damage and your dizzy by quite a lot. Oh, is that it? Is that all of them? I think it's a pretty cool hack. It's actually out to the public now, so if you want to play it, if even even if you want to net play it, you can actually like go and play it with other people. And I think there is a small but dedicated fan base of people out there trying to grind it out in Street Fighter, Street Fighter Forward Strike.